So I just purchased a graveyard ghoul the other day. So let me talk about it and some problems I had with it. I like it a lot, but uh, let's see. Sometimes it's called the Tombstone Ghoul to their website. So I have it all put together. Uh, when I first purchased it and got it all together, when I turned it on, the LEDs just blinked on and off. There was no motion, no sound, nothing. So I figured it was shorted somewhere. Uh, I had to take it back apart again, took the motor, and I found the problem. I can show you what I found with it. Now that I have it working, the motor's bad. It makes this really loud grinding noise, but I called the company and they're sending me a new motor and it'll be here in a week. So if you plan on buying anything from Spirit Halloween, I suggest buying it a few weeks before Halloween just to make sure it works because I haven't had the best luck with their animatronics. So we'll turn it on. I like that it has the blue LEDs right here so you can read the tombstone. And it even has two white LED lights back here. So you can kind of see the zombie face and the eyes glow too. The audio is not too great, but you can hook up a computer speaker to it if you like and get a little bit better audio out of it. Just a cheap pair of computer speakers. Alright, and I'm going to show you what I found out was wrong with it, and in case you run into this problem. Okay, here we have the back of the tombstone, and here's the motor assembly, and the arm that connects to the zombie head. So we'll just get this thing taken apart and show you how it looks. Okay, as you can see here, Take a look. Right here on the motor, what I found out was there's two capacitors here. This black one and this flat one with the, with the brown. What happened was this one was bent over. This was bent all the way down and one of the pieces of metal contact here was touching the contact this capacitor. So these two capacitors were shorted together and that was causing the whole system not to work. So as soon as I bent this out a little bit and made sure they weren't touching, I put it back together, turned it on, everything worked fine, except for the really loud grind, grinding motor noise, which is a totally separate issue. Uh, just bad luck, I guess. Uh, and right here, so you only have the option of running this with sound, but you do have a dial where you can turn the sound down uh, or all the way up however loud or soft you want it. And of course you can hook up a computer speaker there if you like, or any old speaker system to get a little bit better audio out of it because unless you're spending $250, $280 or more on an animatronic at Spirit Halloween, the speakers aren't going to be very good. But I have been pressed out of the really high-end animatronic speakers. Alright, so let's uh, turn this thing on, maybe in the dark, and see how it looks. Okay, let's see how this camera does in low light. Alright, we turn it on. And of course, you can just, I want to probably pull back the hair a little bit, tie it back so you can kind of see the zombie face. Uh, that's how it works. 
And so, yeah, it was about 130 bucks, and with a 20% off coupon, you can find online right around, just over 100 bucks. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'll be keeping this one. And I really like these legs on the bottom. Get a little bit of light on the subject here. These legs are just blending out really easily, and all I'm going to do is uh, hammer some tent stakes into the ground. And this thing's not going anywhere, even if it's windy that night. And yeah, I think the kids are going to love this. They'll get a real kick out of it. And I think if I use my computer speakers where they can really understand what he's saying, it's going to be pretty good. All right, thanks.